Welcome to Demolition Ranch and happy second day of Christmas. Today, we're shooting my new M1A in an EBR, Sage EBR stock. And we're gonna be shooting it at some Christmas hams. This is chambered in 308, very similar to a regular M1A, except it just looks way cooler. Has a collapsible stock and is just tacked out. These things are in all the video games and they look so cool. Adopted by several military uh, facets, but when you really look at it, um, it's just a really old design M1A stuck inside a cool looking stock. It's heavy, it's bulky, it doesn't do anything super great, except look super great. We put a Vortex Razor HD up on top. We also have a 45 canted red dot on the side and we're gonna see what this thing will do to some honey hams. But first, something smaller. 5.56 five, out of the Daniel Defense, and we're shooting green tips, which as you guys know, are made out of atom bombs, so it should do some damage here to those honey hams. Dang, okay, let's see what we got. Dang, that, that like goo. Mmm, it's honey. These sat out in the sun for like four hours, so I'm probably not gonna put that in my mouth. All right, we actually stopped it in two though. Oh, look at that honey just pouring out. Man, it smells good. It smells like some smoked ham and honey. I might eat it and just get sick. It, it might be worth it. Did not come out the back of the second one though. So we're gonna go ahead and move this one to the back. There's already bees. This is gonna be a mess in a minute. We're gonna move it to the back, shoot this one again because it didn't get hit too hard and we're gonna have to shoot something bigger. What about a AK-47 chambered in 7.62? by 39. This like reverse dongle foregrip's cool, but it, it does make it a little trickier to get a mag in. We are uh, shooting now a bigger projectile and it probably will make a quite a good mess on our hams. I saw that ham jump. One and then out of the second. Did it hit the, oh yeah. And it hit the third right here. Just a little bit, it grazed it. Went in there, chopped up a little bit. Look at this, it shot honey all back here. Oh, it shot the pack of honey. That's what it is, just packs of honey in there. The AK went through two and into three. So we are getting a little further. This one looks pretty, pretty done. What is the powder stuff? Been smuggling something in these hams, I knew it. We're going EBR next. We're gonna plink on some targets first because I have not shot it. But we got a new one from Brunner Targets and uh, it's got a little swinger in the middle of this gong. So we'll see if we can hit the center of that thing. 308, so that should be my first time shooting this thing, but I have a SOCOM 16, which I love. All right, let's see what we can do. Jeez. All right, let me zoom in, because we're at like 40 yards, so it's a long shot. Let's see if I can hit that little flipper. Dude, this is a heavy rifle. That was low. That was high. Oh, no, those are hitting. Those are hits. So, you know, this is used as like a DMR, so you'd probably want to post up sometimes, get some better shots, but. Turn that one sideways. <laughs> Brandy mag. Ooh. Let's see if I can hit that tiny little green target that I'm probably going to kill with this 308. Yup, got her. Oh, I got the little one. Dude, oh no. Still in the fight. Shoo! This thing has a pretty crazy break on it, and it feels good shooting, but it is blasting a lot out the sides. And we got some smoke. This thing's awesome. This is one of those things I've just wanted forever. I like the M1A, but it's not something I'd ever want to like actually fight with because they're just big and heavy, but it's so fun to shoot. So I've always like loved the EBR stock. And now we got one. Let's see what it'll do to some hams. Coming in hot on the honey hams. Jeez. Carnage, let's go. I 
think there used to be a ham here. Did it go through the first and not do much? That's our hit with the 308. It came through, blew it out right here, and then it came into this one and just disintegrated it. And then I think stopped. So yeah, our more powerful 308 passed through this, didn't do a whole lot, exploded number two, did not touch number three. I mean, it could have swerved out the side. I don't know, but hmm. <laughs> Y'all wanna go bigger? No, you don't? You do. You do. You do. Let's go bigger. Everyone's favorite Christmas caliber, 7.62 by 54R. <laughs> oh my gosh, this scope is the worst. Firing. <laughs> we got it. Ah! Is that bone? There was just one here. It caved the table and it exploded it. And you can see a dent there now. Dude, these aren't going through more than one? That's crazy. So that one is about the same size around as a 308, but it's going faster. Yeah, I don't think it went into that. It just went I thought we'd be hitting more hams, but these are all exploding in the first ham. These things are dense. Got some nice thick hams, like some meaty, sticky hams. Mm. Who's excited for Christmas? <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> Yeah. Also, don't forget, in every Christmas episode, we're giving some away, and this one is no different. If you order the green Demolition shirt, what else is green? Well, let me think. Money. We're gonna pick 10 of y'all and put a $100 bill in your order. We'll just randomly pick 10 of y'all who order this shirt today only, link in the description below. And don't forget that anyone who orders any shirt out of our Christmas series, the entire Christmas season will be entered to win. One awesome. Hey, no, no, come this way. You gotta come. He was supposed to. He was supposed to. He was supposed to come this way. Um, we'll show it to you more next next episode. Uh, let's let's shoot a fifty cal. I'm gonna go ham. <laughs> oh man. I went ham. <laughs> yeah, we got those hams. Yep, 50 cal definitely went straight through the hams. Uh, tomorrow, we have a very good Christmas episode coming up for you. Be sure to be back on Demos Ranch tomorrow and let us know what else you want to see us shoot in the Christmas season. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demos Ranch. Merry Christmas! And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. <laughs>